Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So it is a lot going on out here. Once again, child, these celebrities are wilding out and acting just as ratchet as they can be, okay? So what's going down is, if you guys don't know, there's a viral video of Tyrese. He's on stage singing his famous song, How You Gonna Act Like That? And in the middle of him singing, um, one of his security guards comes up and whispers sweet nothings in his ear, basically telling Tyrese that there's a process server ready to serve him. And this mofo literally ran out the van. <laughs> He literally runs out the venue mid-song. He still had three other songs to perform. This fool swerved up out of there so quickly. This is a hot ghetto mess, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out. Now, Tyrese, how you gonna up and leave us now? How you gonna run like that? How you gonna change it up? We just finished paying up. How you gonna run like that? Keeping it ghetto. Oh, oh yeah, Tyrese, that was real fucking ghetto, okay, sir? <laughs> Y'all not let the remix shit. That was ghetto and trifling as hell. And I'm sorry, but if I paid my good money to come see Tyrese and others sing and one of the performers decides to just break up out of there because of his legal woes, I want my full refund. I want my money back. Can we get back to professionalism? This man knows that they have been trying to serve him for months now and they found him in the best location possible because he's been hiding. And he got served. And what's very interesting is who's serving him because this is not his only lawsuit. So if you guys don't know, the person who was serving him during this situation is um, music producer Brian Barber. So back in October of 2023, Tyrese was on The Breakfast Club running his mouth child. And basically he went in and he lied on the producer. And so this is what was said at that time. He said on the show that he had hired um, Barber to film a Barbara Walters type interview that was going to be conducted by Charlemagne the God at Tyrese's house. And afterwards, they had planned for Tyrese and Barber to split the money on a 50-50 basis with the revenue being derived from streaming and or other distribution. Um, the legal documents read. Tyrese said that Barber kept the footage and refused to give it to the singer. However, Barber vehemently denies and he claims that Tyrese asked Barber not to release the footage in order to protect his reputation. Barber also stated in the documents that Gibson refused to adhere to the previous 50-50 revenue split that he and Barber had previously negotiated for the Charlemagne the God interview. Barber rose to Hollywood prominence when he wrote and directed Outcast. Terrence Howard and Paula Potton's film Idlewild. Prior to that, the Grammy nominated Barber directed visually spectacular videos such as Outcast's Hey Ya and The Way You Make Me Move. So basically, they Brian Barber is suing Tyrese for defamatory statements um, that really affected his reputation. And they've been trying to serve him since October. And this man has been running. But now what's very interesting is that five days ago, Okay, May 9th, his ex-wife, Norma Mitchell, is also suing Tyrese. See, Tyrese won't stop running his mouth on social media. So this is why he's being sued this time by his ex-wife, Norma. So back on April 30th of 2024, Tyrese posted um, a post basically saying Tyrese Gibson is done living in fear as he publicly addresses his legal matters. He says, I've got nothing to lose but my mind and reputation and neither one of those are no longer up for grabs. I get it, I get it. We are living in the time's up me too era 
And as soon as a man goes public about abuse and trauma inflicted on him by a woman, they are shamed into silence. I'm past that. Be yourself in my comments. Shut the F up, man. Stop putting your personal shit out there on the timeline. Be more private. Did you tell my ex to be more private in 2017 when her accusations rocked my life, my career, my marriage, and every opportunity imaginable? And that motion was killed instantly. So he posted that, but what also was kind of disturbing is he also posted a link. So on top of him posting the Google Drive link um, with the legal information, the legal court filings, it listed personal details involving Norma Mitchell, who is a baby mama, and Tyrese's 16-year-old daughter, Shayla. It has Shayla's school in there, their address information. So he basically put them in danger. You know, fans are crazy. You know, you have some men out here um, you know, who get mad at situations like this and who may want to take revenge on behalf of Tyrese. So Norma no longer feels safe. So she filed a defamation claim against Tyrese and has also filed a restraining order as well. So this is the update on this situation. It's saying Tyrese's ex-wife, Norma Mitchell, just upped the ante in her legal war with him, now running to court in search of a temporary restraining, bringing up the same claims in her defamation suit as the crux of her argument onto why she needs court-ordered protection and ditto for their daughter. In the documents obtained by TMZ, Norma says the IG post Tyrese has been throwing up or grounds for harassment, and she's asking the court to force him to take them down. She's also asking that he be ordered to refrain from talking about them online. Plus, she wants the judge to make him pay for therapy sessions pertaining to all of this, and it adds up to a lot. A judge has yet to rule on her TRO request. So his legal woes are definitely mounting, okay? Not only is he being sued by Brian Barber, but he's also being sued by his ex-wife, Norma Mitchell. So Tyrese, you are gonna be running for the rest of your life. I suggest you man up and you face these charges and you do what you're supposed to do. But in the meantime, when you have a concert and we as the fans are paying good money to see you sing and we're still helping to revitalize your old struggling career, you need to be professional and continue performing your songs that you were paid to do. People bought tickets to see you sing, not to see you run. So child, this whole situation is a hot mess. So with that being said, T-Sippers, Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet situation, honey, concerning Tyrese basically running out during a performance because of his legal drama. How do y'all feel about this? Do you guys feel like this was extremely unprofessional? And do you guys think these people should be refunded their money because they paid for a service and he did not deliver said service? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And last but not least, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.